Yo, 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 and welcome back to another RSPS video. In today's video, we're here on no other than a new server I found called Deflect RSPS. This server is super fun. It's a semi-custom server, so that means it plays just like old school RuneScape, but you progress into more custom gear and just stuff that's really OP they wouldn't add in normal RuneScape, but it's a ton of fun, I promise you. It's not like the custom servers where you see with all the miniguns and stuff. This one feels really smooth, almost like an alternate OSRS. I really do like it, and I've checked out their update logs. I've checked out a lot of the stuff that they've done since the server's come out, and all I can say is they've done an outstanding job in honoring a community, and they have over 150 on online every single time that I check it out. As you can see here, I'm making a new account. I'm not gonna be Iron Man. I'm just gonna be running a quick playthrough and I did pick the hard game mode. The hard game mode, what it does is it gives you unlimited prayer. So I highly recommend you pick the hard game mode over the easy one, just because when you pick the easy one and you end up maxing and everything, you're just gonna wish that you picked the hard mode. Now, if you guys wanna play this server, all you have to do is look in the link below in my description. It's gonna show you that. Here you can see the first thing I did is I took my dragon bones straight to the chaos altar like I always do, and I got myself some 43 prayer, just cause it's gonna be really, really nice to use if I wanna do any kind of slayer or anything like that. I think the first thing I'm gonna go do is train some magic. I wanna see what magic's like on this server because a lot of the staffs I heard have unlimited runes, things like that, and just, you know I'm a big fan of barraging in the catacombs or wherever their multi-slayer is. That's where you'll see me. I love doing Slayer and I love doing raids. And I noticed that this server has like five different raids I can do. That's a lot more than I've seen on all the other servers I've checked out. This server is really clean. Honestly, I couldn't ask for any more in a server than what I've seen here on Deflect RSPS. So I want to give a big, huge shout out to those people who have worked so hard to make this server possible. Again, if you haven't checked this out, all you have to do is go to that link in the description. That's the last time I'm gonna mention it in this video, but I wanna talk about a giveaway I'm doing. Now, I'm gonna be giving away 25 free dollars on Deflect RSPS. All you have to do is leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below with your IGN on Deflect. Now let's talk about what I'm doing here. I'm getting some magic runes. I wanna train up my magic. Um, I'm trying to get like burst spells as quickly as possible. And I found that low alking was honestly the best way to do it. You can see here, I just unlocked this. I'm gonna go do a Slayer task, go scope that out. Um, but when I checked out the Slayer task, I was a little bit under leveled with only 50 magic and I couldn't even wear the ancient staff. So I'm back to the slimes, training up my attack. And here you can see I'm getting 50 attack. Now I can wear that ancient staff. I'm gonna go back and try and do my Slayer task now. And when I go to the Slayer task, I try to do the wieldy, but it's like you need level 90 and I'm like level 32 or something. Um, yeah, I'm level 40 something and that's just not gonna work. So let's hit up the Duradel. He gave me some fire giants. I know just where to find those. They're in the catacombs and you'll find them. Um, yeah, they're multi here so you can burst them, but look how slow it is to kill them with just 50 magic and ancient staff. It's really not going well. So I'm probably gonna end up, I'm probably gonna come back once I get bursts because it's just gonna be a ton more beneficial. And I did find out from a few people, they said when you're doing Slayer, you get these keys. Now these are divine crystal keys. These are some of the best keys you can get from Slayer, but I think there's unlocks to get even better keys or maybe there's better Slayer Masters. I know if you do the Wildy Slayer, someone was saying it's the best blood money in the game for Slayer. So I'll probably check out Wildy once I get the 90 combat. And then here's me opening the one key I got and I got a, a jar of miasma. From what I could tell, everything in the game is useful because they have an item sink that you just burn anything extra you don't want and you need to burn those items to get upgrades later on on your account. Now I'll be touching a lot more on the basics of this game in the next video. I really just wanted to show you guys my first hour on Deflect as I'm figuring it out. And people told me I should really go complete um, the Santa quest, whatever the Santa quest here I'm doing. And I had to pick up so many snowballs. Like I picked up a few, a few, but people told me to just pick up over 2,100 of them. So that's what I did. I picked up the 2,100 snowballs. It did take a little while, um, but honestly, I just wasn't even paying attention, just clicking away on my mouse. And then once you get the 2,100, you don't have to get 2,100. You could just get 30 if you just want to do the quest. But I wanted to unlock the Santa's coal shop because that allows me to buy donator books and all their kind of things in there. And it's a limited time only until, I think until the end of Christmas or maybe the end of um, December is when they're gonna change that. And as you can see, I had to run all the way up this ice path. Now, if you guys have played OSRS, 
you know just how bad this ice path is and I keep falling down my run can't turn on yeah I'm gonna skip through some of this because I know you guys don't want to watch me run all the way up but let's just say it was a journey to get to the top and now here I am I'm gonna go talk to this bad imp that apparently stole Santa's yellow snowballs I don't know why they'd be yellow but leave in the comments below why snow would be yellow because I've never seen yellow snow in my life and then we're coming across the bridge you'll see the imp right here Basically what I do is I just trade in some snowballs to him and apparently I didn't even have enough to get all the Santa hats but I trade them in and now I finish the quest and it should give me like a, a Santa hat and some Santa costumes which will be discontinued. So if you're going to play the server you might want to get these cosmetics quick because me personally I love having cosmetics other people don't have. Later on in the server um, as it gets older it's cool to just flex these OG items. And as you can see, I didn't have enough for all of them. So I had to get a little bit more snowballs to get the last one. And now we got all four of them. Once you get all four Santa hats, you can come over here and open up the shop with the anti-Santa. And you can buy some crazy stuff in here. The first thing is a coal bag. And when you're killing monsters on a Slayer task, it gives you a chance to get coal. That coal bag will automatically pick it up. And then you have the anti-Santa costume. That's just another cosmetic, which is really cool. I'll be buying that. You can buy all the donator boxes. You can buy um, a donator book, some kind of Christmas key. I'm not 100% sure what's in the Christmas key. And then XP lamps. Now that's pretty much it. Again, if you want to enter in that $25 giveaway, all you have to do is leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment your IGN below. I'll be picking the winner of the giveaway in my next video. Again, if you guys want to see me continue making videos on Deflect, please, please, please give this video a watch. Like this video and leave a comment. Let me know you guys like this server and I'll keep on doing videos. Until next time, peace.